This is one reason why I love this bag. Hey guys, Brad here. And today I'll be looking at the Milwaukee Pack Out backpack. Now I've always had the DeWalt backpack and I've switched over to the Milwaukee and I'll give you some reasons why. So like all pack out back or bags and boxes and stuff, it does have the connections on the bottom to fit onto your cart. So it'll snap on over here. I'll just grab one of these. It'll snap onto the bottom. This is one reason why I love this bag because you can just carry around a bunch of fasteners, bits, whatever you need for that job and keep it all connected in one spot. So it's kind of cool that way. Um, this sort of beats out any other product out there. You know, you can't, you can't do this with DeWalt, that's for sure. And I really like it. And you don't have to have two, you can have just a single on there. You know, no problem. Before we go any further, guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up. And shoot some comments if you want. I'd love to hear from you if you like this bag. Um, I've had it not that long. So as far as wear and tear goes, you know, I haven't really put it through its paces. I do know someone who has this bag and has pretty much trashed it and they don't like it at all. Now they're a plumber and they're loading it up pretty heavy. I've seen all the stuff that's in it and uh, I don't know, I think maybe it depends on the user, maybe it depends on how heavy you're loading it, I'm not sure. One day I'll find out, you know, for myself, but that's just a little bit of feedback from um, quality tradesmen out there that are, are saying that, uh, he, he, he said that this thing's a piece of junk. So I don't know. We'll see, right? That's why I want the comments guys. I want to, I want a consensus of, is this a piece of junk or not? Cause I don't think it is just by looking at the overall construction of it. Uh, one thing I really like about this bag is this front pouch. It's kind of hard and not super hard, but it's got some form to it. So it allows you to kind of stuff some things in these inside pouches. Now I will say this, with this bag, I am a little bit on the fence with sort of the overall organization of the pockets, the amount of tools you can hold. You know, it always takes a little bit of time to figure out how you want to store everything. So I'm playing with it a little bit, you know, kind of getting a feel for it. The pockets are okay. They're not the greatest. It could be a little deeper. And I find with Milwaukee soft bags and, and this backpack, I don't know why they make their, their, their pouches so shallow in some situations. I know they're sort of focusing maybe on a certain trade, but it would be nice to have maybe a little bit you know, well-rounded um, bag. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So on the front here, you know, we've got some little loopholes, which I think are totally useless. You know, you can put a bit in there, but I guarantee you that's gonna fall out. You could put some pens in here, but they're probably gonna lose their lids. Um, I've tried putting screwdrivers in here and they don't work the best. The only ones that uh, that I really like putting in here are my Kleins. So, you know, like that's that's okay. It's not great. My Kleins have a little bit longer end on them, so they, you know, I'm not going to lose that. So I don't know. I don't know what Milwaukee's thinking here. I'm I'm assuming it's for screwdrivers, because, but I don't I don't know. For me, I don't like to have my screwdrivers on the outside. I just feel like this is going to catch on like a seat in my in my truck or something like that and um, or somebody's furniture and, and just cause more problems than it's worth. So I'm not really down with that. Now on the inside, it does have a nice pouch just to toss some stuff in here and some bit holders across here. 
I don't know why they didn't continue it on both sides. That would have been nice. This is just kind of wasted real estate. Up in here, we've got some small pouches, but honestly, compared to the other bags, this is kind of a joke to me. Um, the fact that you just really can't carry that much in here. They should have put another row of pouches across the front, even if it was just for bits. I mean, they've got the space in here, so so why not do that? So, you know, I'm I like it, but I don't. I'm I'm really kind of on the fence with this bag. I've, I've been using it for a bit and and just sort of playing with it and seeing what I like. So this zips up, and this compartment zips up here. Now on the inside, this is another thing I'm not loving is that it only opens up this far. You can't just flop this thing right over. Um, maybe it's just because I'm used to the DeWalt, how it opens right up. But uh, this one, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now the pouches in here, they're, they're pretty good. Um, we've got some sort of stretchy elastic ones at the back for like taller items. You know, you can put your screwdriver through here, lock it in place. Um, it will fit like a string line crescent wrenches. I've got a little block plane down in here. So, you know, it's not bad. These are my uh, spade bits. It doesn't have any like straps or anything for your hammers or, or anything like that. So any of this stuff just kind of fits loosely in here. Now at the back, we've got a Velcro pouch so we can put some little small things and this side we've got a sort of a clear pouch with a zipper on it and I'm just keeping some tapes and things like that in there so we've got one two three four five pouches across here with elastic bands above the top so that uh, I don't know you can hold things in there I've never really understood why I guess if you have something taller it will hold it in place but it just seems kind of pointless to me. So yeah, I'm, I got mixed feelings about this bag, as you can tell. I like it because of the fact that I can hook these smaller pack out boxes on the bottom. I really like that. If I have to go do a small service job of some kind, I can just grab this, grab my screws or whatever and slap it on there and it frees up my hands. That's really nice, right? If you gotta carry a lot of stuff into you know, an elevator or whatever, it's nice to be able to just load up and do one trip instead of two or three. I like the rigidity of this bag. I love how it feels on my back. This is really nicely padded. Um, you know, there's some Velcro here, which I actually don't know what this does. I'm assuming Maybe this is to strap it on to a rollout or I don't know. I don't really know. If you know what it is, let me know. Um, so those are some things I really like about it. I, it's a little bigger than what I'm used to, so I can hold more stuff. I can jam more, you know, tools and whatever in here. We've got on the side a stretchy area where I'm just keeping a notepad, a place for your tapes. This side, place for your tape measure, snap on here, and then another stretchy area to put whatever you want. It's got fully adjustable straps here, and you know, a nice little chest buckle. I really like the padded straps here. So if you do load this thing up, it's not gonna dig into your shoulders too much. And then it's got some handles on the top. So overall, you know, you can't go wrong with this bag. I think it's probably one of the better ones out there. Um, just for the fact that you can connect it to the pack out system. I think that that's a pretty sweet system. Now, if you don't need that fancy of a bag, cause this is expensive. I got this on sale for like a hundred bucks, but uh, I think it's regular like 175 or something like that Canadian. So it just, for me, I, I'm trying to buy things when they're on sale just because why pay, you know, full price for tools when you can find them for sale. 
So there we go, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notify bell. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.